Larry Nasser, the doctor convicted of sexually abusing dozens of female gymnasts, including Olympians, was stabbed inside a federal prison. He's serving out a 60-year sentence right here in Central Florida. And Sky Fox drone flying above that federal prison in Sumter County. Officials say the stabbing happened during a fight at the prison on Sunday. Fox 35's Chris Lindsay spoke to a representative from the employees union who says this all could have been avoided. Behind me is the high security facility where Larry Nasser was stabbed. Union reps tell me this could have been prevented. They're tired, they're exhausted. It, you know, they work 16 hours. It's a, it's a not good situation. Peyton Perry represents a union for local prison employees. She says an officer shortage could be to blame for the brutal attack on disgraced sports doctor and convicted child molester Larry Nasser. She says both officers on watch were scheduled to work extra hours. One of them was on a mandated overtime shift and the other one was the beginning of, uh, he was starting the beginning of his two shifts that he had to work that day. She tells me the vacancies mean there simply aren't enough eyes on the inmates at times. Things can get out of hand very quickly. Um, and then you run into uh, prison riots and, and, and different types of scenarios like that. They've been fighting for a solution for a while now. The staff here at Federal Correctional Complex Coleman released a statement saying they're about 90% staffed, but they are working to get back up to a full staff as they say it's best for the safety and security of everyone. Larry Levine is a prison consultant who says the extra presence may have only delayed the inevitable. If they really, really want you, they'll get to you. So it doesn't matter that they didn't have all the staff. Inmates just wait until the right moment. The union says Nasser was stabbed twice in the neck, twice in the back, and six times in the chest, collapsing his lung. Perry says this will remain a common occurrence until more officers are hired. She believes it will give inmates less of a window to attack. And they take advantage of that and they strike when we are at our weakest and know when they can do that. We're told Nasser is in stable condition, but it's unclear when he'll be released from the hospital. In Sumter County, Chris Lindsay, Fox 35 News.